Hello everybody, welcome back to the second preliminary match of the first ever 2v2 Dungeon Team Smite Tournament. I'm your host again, I'll say today, with Justin versus Jordan for the second preliminary match. The first one we saw Brad versus Medical. I will not tell you the winner because they are in the call and I don't want them to hear who won yet. I will announce it at the end who the teams will be. And we have Justin playing as Nemesis, Jordan playing as Al Kwong. This will be a very interesting match, Nemesis being, of course, an assassin, and Al Kwong being a mage. So this will be very, very interesting to watch, seeing how one's a pusher and one's just single target damage. My bets are on that Nemesis will win. Pretty safe assumption on that. So we're opening up with uh, Justin having a hidden dagger and a cloak. So he has health, protection, and power. Very smart play by him. Not if he wants a physical power build, though, um, like some people. But Jordan, of course, opening up with the Vampiric Shroud and Lost Artifact, so he's obviously going for that magic power and magic restore, but he also gets the health and mana bonus when he kills an enemy. So this will be very interesting. They're currently jumping around on the track, doing nothing of any importance. Uh, oh, yeah, Dragon Jump. That Dragon sure can jump. He's got the moves. We will begin with minions in about five seconds, as you can see on the top, right up here. Minions have spawned, alright, so now the game really begins. Both of them at level one, uh, neither of them having their ult, of course, they both have equal gold. The only thing different, the only thing that's different is what they spent on their, on their builds. Alright, the minions are coming out, so it's about time for the first fight, let's see what's gonna happen. Ooh, Jordan opening up with the storm, uh, trapping the minions inside, will this get him enough Experience to level up first off, not really, but Justin's going in there killing all the minions hand by hand, getting the last hit bonuses. If Jordan comes close, though, I'm assuming that Justin will attack him. The minions right now are fighting it out by themselves. We don't really know what's going on here. Justin's just sitting by and watching while Jordan's shooting at the enemy minions. And blue team's enemy minions are down. Jordan is now level 2. He has the significant advantage. He now has a new ability. While Justin is still level 1. He summons a storm again, trapping the minions in and hitting Justin with it as well. Justin now down a health bar while Jordan's still going strong, attacking the minions. Trying to get that early game lead. Ooh, Justin uses his ability. He is now level 2. It's now 2-2. Two to two. Oh, but Justin is at half health. He is now going back into the safety of his tower, where he's going to just attack the minions head on. Oh, and the minions go... They go straight into the tornado, getting caught up in it. Jordan is now level 3. He has another advantage. He has all three of his abilities now. If he decided to do that, he might have just upgraded one. Which, you know, some people do. I've done it before. It's pretty pretty common strategy. Fully upgrade one, and then that thing is really OP. Like, if he upgraded that storm, that'll be devastating to Justin in the early game. Uh, okay, both of them are now level 3. They are equal in level, but... Uh, Blue Tower has now taken a slight bit of damage. Not really a lot, but slight bit. Their first bar is being attacked. Jordan, of course, throwing down another storm, trapping the minions inside it, making them take damage over time. That's pretty smart play by him. Trapping them all together. Jordan is now level 4. Justin's now level 3. It's a race to see who will get the ult first. If Justin gets his ult first, it'll be very devastating to Jordan because... As an assassin, he'll have high single target damage. Justin now recalling back to the store, but Jordan's not going to allow that. It's a very risky game to play, because if Justin recalls, it it could cause Jordan to just gather up his minions and go for a one big push, which could get him his ult. So, that's of course something that Justin should have considered before he went there. But he went back and grabbed a Draining Blade, getting physical lifesteal and attack speed. Alright. Oh, Jordan now level 5 has his ult at the ready, but he doesn't have much mana, so he's going to recall back to the store. While the minions just do some damage to Blue Team's tower. Justin's grabbing his minions, and he's trying to try to push forward, kill the end of minions, and try to get his ult as well, I'd assume. Oh no, he's actually going to go into the jungle and go to a camp. Which camp will he go to? I really try to gank just gank Jordan when he comes out of spawn, let's say. He is going for damage camp. Oh, he's going to try and get that damage buff. As an assassin, it won't be very hard for him to just single out one of those guys and grab the buff from him. So let's see, let's see where this goes. Jordan, of course, still in spawn, getting his upgrades or whatever he might be doing. He, of course, grabbed Sprint and Kronos' Pendant. Don't know if Sprint will really help him out here since his two ability gives him the ability to uh, speed forward. Ooh, Justin grabs that damage buff. Now level 5. They both have their ult at the ready. This will be a very interesting meetup in the middle. Oh, they meet up in the middle. Jordan, of course, saw Justin first. Justin attacking the minions head-on. 
Looks like Jordan has the advantage in health. Oh, but Justin grabs his buffs and just slashes away at him. Both equal health. Oh, but the ult comes out. Just barely misses Justin. Oh, this is a quite an intense battle. Jordan, of course, with those Chronos Dependent, that buffs his attack up to his physical power, or his magical power of 95. Justin's, of course, is only 18, his physical power. So, of course, Jordan has the advantage in fight strength, now level 6. Justin's level 5. This is quite an intense battle right now. Justin, of course, does have that damage buff. That's a very smart play by him if he's not buffing his mag if he's not buffing his physical power. Because that'll buff his damage, and if he's not buffing physical power, his attacks aren't gonna do much, but that damage buff will give him an advantage. But if he wants to win this game at all, he's gonna have to buff his physical power. As an assassin, your physical power is everything to you. Because assassins generally don't go for high health. Ooh, Justin recalls back to spawn. Now level six, the levels are even now. But Jordan's still here killing the minions. He's probably gonna push the tower. Tower already at one thirds of its health. One thirds of its health gone. Justin grabs a meditation. Not a bad play by him because his mana is quite depleting pretty fastly. Ooh, Jordan throws an ability at the tower. Quite don't exactly know what he's playing in there. Half that tower is just sliced right off. But does Jordan know that the abilities don't affect the tower? I don't really know. He threw that ability at the tower, but there's nothing there. There, it was kind of a waste of mana and the waste of the ability. It's cooling down now. Ooh. Okay, so Jordan recalls back to spawn where Justin's going to push for with the minions, try to do some damage to the tower. If he does really well, he could make this a tower push and take it out now. Well, let's see. It's depleting. It's one health bar gone. Two health bars gone. Justin is just ha hammering away at that tower. Three health bars gone. It, if he can get it down to half, ooh, and he retreats because his minions are dead. That's very smart play by him. Don't want to get caught up there when jo Jordan comes back. It is now 7-6. to six. Justin's level 7, Jordan's level 6. Jordan going into the jungle, will he go for a camp or will he try to just gank Justin? It looks like he's going to try and gank Justin. He was considering that damage camp, then decided Justin could do some pretty serious pushes. Ooh! Justin right away with the ult going straight into the attack. Oh, will he be able to take out, will he be able to take out Jordan? I don't think so. First blood will not be drawn right now. Um, Jordan has the gold advantage. He also has a fully upgraded Chronos Dependent. He is upgrading his magical power very, very severely. This could be quite, quite an advantage to him later on in the game. Oh, Justin's going in for the attack. He's taking out the minions. Oh, they are both level 7. Jordan is significantly lower in health right now. Justin recalling by a surprising amount. He could have pushed and taken out those minions. I don't know exactly what he's thinking here. Because, obviously, he might want to go grab some upgrades, but really, I mean, he could have... He upgrades all of his stuff to level 2, but he could have done a pretty severe push, got that tower down to half health, made the game pretty evened off. Don't know how long his power buff is going to last, though. He grabs Purification Beats again, same thing we saw last game against Dao Kuang. We don't... I don't think these guys understand that the Purification Beats don't do anything. Don't think they understand that against Dao Kuang, the Purification Beats just don't help. Since Al Kuang is very much not crowd control. He doesn't have crowd control at all, I don't believe. That one ability could be considered crowd control, but that doesn't really hinder you in any way. So it's just, you know, completely weird that he would go for that. Don't know why. Maybe people think that Al Kuang's ability gives them a... Gives them a, like, escape from Al Kuang's little tornado thing. I know I thought that once, but it's not crowd control. I don't know what these guys are thinking. Uh, levels are currently 8-8 eight to eight with Jordan having significantly more magical power. Then Justin has physical power. Justin does have a slight bit of de magical defense, but still, that's not going to help him if Jordan decides to go for a full-out attack. Justin, though, does have his ult. He is using his ult quite severely against Jordan, quite smartly, making up for the fact that his physical power is not up to par with the rest of the people's physical power. That tornado just barely misses Justin. Justin doesn't get damaged by that at all. It doesn't affect him. Ooh, and now he's fighting the minions in the tower range. Will he be able to grab another level up off of this? We don't know. No, he is staying at level 8. The scores are 8 to 8. Uh, Jordan, going back to his spawn, gonna go grab some upgrades, probably. Upgrade his equipment, make his magical power even stronger. Pierce through that very slight magical defense that he has. Getting a call on the phone, not gonna answer that right now, because I'm shoutcasting! And, um, we're gonna just handle that. We have the Assy by Justin, which will... It doesn't actually increase his uh, physical power, just physical life, physical life steal and attack speed. Uh, he does have more physical penetration, but Jordan also is not building up on the physical protection either, so it doesn't really help him out in any way, shape, or form. So we don't really know what's going to come out of this. Ooh, he grabs a mana potion consumable. 
don't really see that much out there, and especially since we now have multi potions in the game, which restore both health and mana. Don't really see the one potion play anymore, unless you're low on low on gold. But as we can see, he has a significant more net worth than Justin. Maybe he's just running low on it right now. I really don't know. But we have both of them at level nine. Uh, Jordan's for Jordan's ult is ready. Both of their ults are now ready. Looks like Justin's going straight away for that ult. Gonna try and take out Jordan. Oh no, he is retreating now. Realizing that he is at the lower health. He's retreating back into safety of tower range. And Jordan's gonna use this to his advantage and try to push the tower. He's gonna do some damage to the tower. He still doesn't understand that his... Even if it's just a single shot ability, that doesn't do any extra damage to the tower. It doesn't do any at all. Don't know what he's thinking here. Playing, playing like that. Justin now recalling. Jordan, will he recall? Both of them are recalling. Looks like we're gonna have a minion battle here. Both of them recall at when they're in the yellow at health, so you know, pretty standard thing right there. We got that going on. Justin still not upgrading his physical power. He has a slight about. He has a slight amount, but it's not going to help him win. Jordan, of course, having metric tons of magical power as well as mana and mana restoration. So if Justin, if Jordan can figure out how to use his mana magic power correctly and pierce through Justin's armor, this could get very serious very quick. Alright, Jordan right away with the tornado at spawn. He really seems to favor that tornado to get get minions to drop lowly in health. Justin recalling again. Will this be a mistake? We don't know yet. Will Jordan be able to take out the tower with this with this one push? He is attacking the minions right away. Right away with the minion attack. Doesn't look like he'll be able to push and take the tower down because the minions died fairly quickly. They were at fairly low health. Maybe he'll be able to do a slide amount to the tower? No. Nah, he's pulling back. He knows. He knows it's dangerous to fight Justin in there. If he fights Justin in there, he could die. Ooh, J he's throwing down a tower, though, to defend his minions. Ooh, but Justin's still picking away at him. The tower's at about one-fourth of its health. This could be very harmful to him later in the game. Jordan hanging back at level 10. Don't know exactly what his plan is. Wait for his minion, probably, and then push. Ooh, but Justin's pushing forward. He ults right away. Tries to take out Jordan with a dash. Justin level 11. Jordan level 10. Ooh, and he plays... Ooh, both of them pull away when they get scared. Somebody's gonna have to take a risk now and then and try to try to take the other one out. Ooh, Justin's going down quickly in health due to minions and Jordan. Looks like he... Ooh, it looks like the tower could go down here. Justin decides to recall. We don't know yet. It's at about two bars of health. The minions walking straight through that tornado, getting damaged along the way. Justin's recalling. This could be very harmful to him later in the game if... Or this could be very harmful to him right now. If Jordan decides to do one big tower push, this could take out his tower right now. Let's see. Will Jordan realize? Again, using an ability on the tower. Ooh, and they take out Red Team's tower. The tower is down. Looks like that recall by Justin was not a very smart play. Justin, of course, still has his purification beats. He's improving his physical power now. But we don't really know... We don't really know the outcome from here. If, jo if Jordan can get one good push on the Phoenix, that could be it. But... If Jordan gets killed once, Justin will probably retake this game, do a big push-up medal. That's all it would really take, ladies and gentlemen. If Justin does one big push and kills Jordan, then he can retake the game right here, right now. However, the risk with that is his tower is still standing, while Justin's is not. So, doing a big push could be risky, because if he dies, it's guaranteed win for Jordan. Because then Jordan does one big push on the Phoenix, Phoenix is dead. And that would basically win him the game. Unless Justin can pull off a miracle and defend it. Justin at level 12, Jordan at level 11. Still pushing strong and hard here. Justin trying desperately to upgrade that ma that physical power, but he just can't gather up to the 265 magical power compiled by Jordan. He currently he upgrades his attack speed quite well, but that doesn't really help him out later on. Ooh, Justin retreating from Jordan's onslaught of attacks. Jordan hits him with his ult directly. All right bit delayed to the punch there, but now Justin's at about half health just from that ult hit alone. Ooh, he's gonna push forward with the minions now. Could do some serious damage to the Phoenix right now. Don't know if Justin considered this. Justin might have just went back to restore it. Ammo no. He, again, using an ability on the Phoenix. I don't think he understands that abilities don't hurt these things. Only thing that abilities hurt are the Titans. Gotta use basic attacks on the Phoenix and such. Oh, could, could Justin take him out right now? Let's see. Uh, both the ults are down. It leads. This could lead to a very severe... Ooh, jo Justin sit, taking out the minions right at mid. Both of them at level 12. Jordan, again, with the significant magic power. That could win him the game right there. 
Justin with the thir level 13, Jordan level 12. Looks like Justin's gonna actually try and push. Let's let himself take some of the damage. Minions going in. He still takes some of the damage, takes a brunt of it. The minions coming in to kill his minions. The tower still at two thirds of its health. If Justin wants to take that tower, he's gonna have to do a pretty big push without Jordan being there or kill Jordan himself. One of the two. Jordan again upgrading that magic power, upgrading that health. He's getting himself pretty pretty decked out for the fights to come. It's gonna come pretty it's gonna come to a pretty close match because Justin as an assassin can do a lot of damage. Justin pulling back instead of pushing the tower. Now don't know exactly what he's thinking there. He had minions there and everything. Jordan could have can, but he could have done a good bit of damage to that tower. That tower had non-regenerating health, so. Ooh, Justin just sitting there doing nothing. Think he might be preoccupied with something else. That could cost him the game right there. If Jordan catches him off guard, that will be the end of the game. Looks like he's trying to catch him around the corner. No! He actually tried he actually stood there and did nothing while Jordan's on slot came. Sends his ult out there, trying to hit Justin probably, not not the tower, because he knows that the tower doesn't do anything. Oh, and he ults Jordan, taking away his buffs, but doesn't go for the kill. Both of them at level 13 now, going, getting to be a pretty serious game. Minions are going to clash. Red team minion obviously is going to pass because they have significantly less manpower. So, red team minions will push and go for the blue team Phoenix. Justin sitting right behind his Phoenix, doing nothing again. Don't know what his plans are. Don't know exactly what's going on with him. Looks like the blue team blue team minions will obviously win this fight. They have the support of the Phoenix on their side. So, that'll occur. Red team minions, Rave 2 is coming right behind them to support those other minions. Oh, it looks like they're going to just be late. Jordan going around to the damage camp. What's going to go on here? Is he going to go for damage? Oh, he is actually going to try and take out the damage camp by himself. Justin still sitting there behind the Phoenix doing nothing at all. We don't know what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Do not know. Ooh, Jordan grabs that grabs that damage buff. This is going to be a severe fight when it goes on. Justin still sitting there doing nothing at all. This could cost him the game, folks. He could lose right here, right now. Due to that, sitting there doing nothing. If Jordan kills him, that'll be it. He'll basically lose. They're doing one more push. Push him forward. Oh, and Justin comes out at the last second to fight. Justin's ult is still not ready. He hits him with the Mighty Storm. Ooh, that Phoenix, though. That Phoenix is at three-fourths of its health. It is not going to go down easy without a, without a big push. Justin, again, just sitting there. Level 14, while Jordan's level 13. We don't know exactly what, Jordan's, what Justin's strategy is here. He seems to just be waiting around until Jordan gets close, and then he decides to fight back. That's not going to win him the game. If he doesn't try to push forward, he's going to lose. Ooh, Jordan doing some significant damage to the Phoenix. It's about it's at about half health. He could try to take it down now. Ooh, he hits the blue team minions and Justin. Justin gets hit too, but it drains away pretty quickly. Justin pushing mid. Is he going to try and retake this? He could be, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to go and solo those minions. Ooh, and Jordan's recalling. If the blue team minions can catch up to Justin, or if Justin can just go and take a couple hits by the tower, he could do some significant damage to the tower, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know. It's yet. Will he go for the tower hit? No, he's not going to do that. He's going to wait for his minions. He's going to group up, and then he's going to do a push. Ooh, he's going actually into the jungle. Is he going to go for a camp, or is he going to try to gank? He is. He looked at the damage camp and noticed that's the one that Jordan took. Will he go for the one on the other side? Well, it looks like they're going to meet at mid. Will they? Will they battle? Oh, it looks like, it looks like Justin was going for the other damage camp, but then he noticed Jordan, so he's not going to let that slide. Oh, he gets hit with the ult! Oh, this could be very harmful to Justin. Will he be able to get, will Jordan be able to pull off a kill here? No, and the score is still at 0-0 with no first bloods yet. First blood is going to be devastating now because they're going to be dead for quite some time. The other team will almost certainly win. If Justin can pull off a kill, he can pretty much push that tower and take it down. But if Jordan takes down that Phoenix, that's pretty much game. Oh, Justin notices Jordan, but he's not going to go for him because he has minions. Ooh, the Mighty Storm coming down right over all the minions and Justin, hitting Justin directly. The mi blue team minions are going to push forward now. They're going to go straight for mid. Will Justin try to go for that damage camp again that he missed before? Don't know. Oh, he will. He noticed Jordan recalling. He's going to go for that damage camp. He's going to go and try to take it. All right.
quite an intense game we have going on here, everybody. Justin taking on those minions. Gonna take him down and gonna grab that damage buff. Oh, he grabs the damage buff. He's gonna go straight for mid. Is he going to pull off a kill? Jordan coming around to the other side. Justin does not notice him. Will Justin be able to pull off a big push here and take that tower? We don't know yet. Oh, he is able to almost one-hit those tiny minions. Will he be able to pull off a kill, though, with that power? Jordan gonna throw down another storm directly over the minions. Getting pretty predictable his movement, so he opens up with the storm and then tries to take you down from there. Don't really know if that's gonna win him the game, though. If that continues, that could cost him the game. If Justin figures out a way to fight around it. They jumped at each other. Don't know if that's a secret code or not. Ooh! Ooh! And Justin ults him, but Jordan ults him right back. Will Justin pull off a kill? No, he doesn't go for it. He doesn't risk it. He does not go into the tower range. Just Jordan is now recalling. Justin going to severely have to fight back. The minions aren't even past the Phoenix point yet. Justin does not understand that that was his one chance to retake the game. If he doesn't kill Jordan soon, Jordan can take this game and win. We don't really know what's going to happen from here on out. Justin, of course, level 16. Jordan, level 15. There's a severe battle going on. Ooh, and they attack that he attacks the minions fiercely trying to get through them and go straight for that tower Jordan of course still in spawn upgrading his equipment with all that magic power buff will he take down the tower towers at half health towers at one third health will he take it down the towers down Justin pulled off one big push this is more severe than the last game they are severe they are about equal now Justin level 16 Jordan level 15 if Justin can pull off a kill, he can win this game. He can do one big push on the Phoenix and win. But Jordan's ult is severely damaging. If you get hit by that ult, you are going to be hurt. Justin re Justin's heading back after he got hit by that. He used his meditation. He popped it. And he is not going to risk any more further damage. Their, re their levels are equal now. 16-16. Justin's at half health. Jordan's at full. Justin, of course, heads back to spawn. And Jordan's going to take this opportunity to take out the minions. Pick out the minions, regain that advantage that he had. Gonna try and push back. Justin pushed, he's gonna push back harder. Ooh, Justin, of course, going into the jungle again. This could cost him. If Jordan pulls off a big push here, this could cost him. Your middle Phoenix is, under is he going back up and try to go back for it? We don't know. We don't know what's happening. Phoenix is at half health. Jordan, Justin coming up behind. Will he be able to pull off a kill? Justin, of course, has his all. Ooh, will he take out Jordan, though? Will he take out Jordan? Will he be out? No, he lets Jordan run away. This is completely unexpected. Wait, I would have done, I would have gone after him all, by all means. But, we don't know what Justin's strategy is here. Neither one seems to be taking the initiative to try and kill the other. Ooh, Justin could have retaken the game with that right there. Even though they were pushing the Phoenix, that could have gotten him like a minute alone on the course. That could have been fairly devastating to the other team. Can just slight bit of lag on the course here. We don't really know what's going on. Ooh. Ooh, they are attack. The red team minions are going to destroy the blue team minions. Going to retake that field that they had. But the blue team minions are going to win this fight up here. Having more health. Yep. Oh, but no. No blue team minions are actually going to lose because Jordan comes in and helps Justin out. Goes for attacking. Ooh, Justin's going to come in. He attacks Jordan right away. Jordan, of course, has his ult. He attacks Justin with it. Will one of them pull off a kill? And who will? No, Justin is re... Justin is heading back. He is all out. He is not going to go for that kill. He understands that he will die if he goes for that kill. Oh. What an intense battle here, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Jordan taking out blue team minions. Going to push forward again with the red team minions. Will he be able to take out the Phoenix now? Phoenix is at half health. Will he be able to take it down? Oh. Looks like if he... Blue Team Phoenix is down now. Red Team Phoenix is down. I'm sorry. They are equal in health. They are equal in level 17, 17. But if Justin can pull off a kill, this could be fairly damaging. Ooh, Justin ults him. Goes for the attack. Ooh, will he pull off a kill? We don't know yet. Lagging around slightly. Ooh, no, he doesn't. And now the Red Team in behind him are regrouping gonna go for a push oh they are keeping the blue team minions at bay oh but he is attacking the blue team minion the the red team minions right away oh he is trying to take them down but they do severe damage to his health what will happen here ladies and gentlemen they now have the upgraded minions due to taking out the phoenix of course 
Ooh, and the blue team minions are having a hard time dealing with those red team minions because they are, of course, on fire and doing extra damage to them. Ooh, but the blue team minions take them out with severe casualties. Jordan's going to push forward with his minions, of course, try to take out Justin and his minions. Of course, if the minions clash, of course, the red team minions will win because they have numbers advantage and they are stronger, of course. Oh, he puts down his tornado and misses everyone. He uses his ult, takes out all the minions. He will not... Oh, he is going for Justin. He is going all in for Justin. Hits him with the Mighty Storm. Justin takes some damage from it, but survives nonetheless. Jordan pushing forward with the minion JN with another red team onslaught just spawning, coming to help. He's taking out the blue minions. Will he push Titan? We don't know yet. Red team minions are about halfway through the course. They are coming up to help. Oh, is he going to push Titan? He doesn't. Your titan's under attack. The blue team's Titan is under, under attack. Will Justin pull off a kill here? The first of the game. Will he? Will he be able to pull off a kill? Jordan, of course, popping that I guess pendant. I just, whatever it is. No, Jordan's trying his damn just not to lose, but Justin's resilient to see attacking. He's going to take out those red team minions to prevent himself from dying. It's quite a severe battle. Red team minions, of course, attacking the blue team minions back at their phoenix. Red team minions trying to push forward. Successfully doing it. Taking out those blue team minions. Justin's starting to head back now. Red team minions look like they're going to go straight for the titan. Do some damage. Oh no, they stopped the they stopped when the other blue team minions spawned. Looks like the blue, the red team minions will be taken out here, but the blue team minions will take some heavy, heavy casualties. Justin, of course, recalled, now going to go for those red team minions, try to take them out. This, the levels are now 18, 18. It's getting close to 20, 20. It's going to be fairly severe. Jo Jordan buying an elixir of power and a multi-potion. This is going to be one severe push by Jordan if he pulls it off. Going to go back through mid. Going to go out of the jungle, go gank Justin. Just, not exactly a gank anymore. Just going to go attack Justin. If he pops that elixir of power, that could be very, very severe to the other team. Looks like he's attacking those blue team minions. He ults on just minions. Let's say he is not gonna go for Justin. He knows that Justin will kill him in a one-on-one -on -one fight without just Jordan having the advantage. Don't know why he hasn't popped that elixir of power. It lasts like five minutes or so. Huh? Gonna be quite the surprise. A little bit of lag going on, not exactly sure why. Probably high latency or something. Ooh. Okay, the net worth is significantly more for Jordan. Ooh. But he goes straight for... Ooh! Red team minions pushing through the blue team Phoenix again. Taking it out again. Keeping it from respawning. The red team push is going to be real right now. Justin, of course, grabbing that damage buff, going to go and attack them. But Jordan's coming up to help out his minions right now. Can he take out Justin, though? He sent down a mighty storm. Ooh, will Justin pull off a kill here? He pulls off a kill! This is going to be very severe to the other team. Jordan is dead for 50 more seconds. This could be a very big push by Justin. He could retake the game right now. If he doesn't, though, what will happen, uh, he'll probably just push forward, do a little bit of damage to the Phoenix. Maybe even take out the Phoenix. I don't know. Doesn't look like he'll actually be able to destroy the Phoenix. His minions aren't spawned yet. But he might be able to go forward, take out the minions, and keep them from pushing forward again. Try to retake back a little bit of the little bit of the course that they lost. Let's find out. Yeah, he's going to just attack those red team minions, take them down, keep them from severely overpowering him. But he has the first kill of the game. Doesn't probably feel very... He probably feels like he can win now. That's a very big morale booster. He will actually push Phoenix. Will he be able to take it down, though? We don't know yet. If he can take that Phoenix down, he can probably win the game. He can go attack the Titan. His level is 20, 20 to 18. He can probably win right now if he takes down that Phoenix. Jordan, of course, is respawned. He's going to go and try to stop Justin. Justin takes down the Phoenix. Now they both have the same level of minions. Blue Team Phoenix will, of course, respawn first. Oh, Justin recall. Justin retreats immediately after Jordan comes out. If Justin can pull off another kill, though, that will be severe. That'll be severely damaging to them. Will, will he be able to pull off another kill, though? No, he is retreating. He is not going to risk it. If Blue Team's Phoenix can respawn, then Justin will have this. Will have an advantage in this fight. Oh, Jordan popping his elixir of power. He is now strong. He is going to try. Ooh, but he gets ulted by Justin. That elixir of power isn't going to help him out now. 
Justin also gains that elixir of power thanks to his ult. Might have been a misplay by Jordan. Don't know yet. Justin's gonna push for. Oh no, he's actually gonna recall. Jordan recalling as well. Minions are gonna battle it out. Looks like red team minions are gonna win this fight right up here. But the blue team minions to follow are gonna win this fight. So it looks like blue team won't lose their massive advantage, just a slight, slight advantage. Don't know exactly what's going on. This battle is going on a half hour. Been shoutcasting for a half hour. Justin grabbing an elixir of power. Don't know exactly what he's going to do with that. If he can get an elixir of power and go into a 1v1 with Jordan. Ooh, he could win it. He could win the game if he can take out Jordan one more time. Let's see. If he pops that elixir of power and goes for Jordan, he could win. If he just ignores the minions and goes straight for Jordan, he could win. Gotta take a little bit of a risk sometimes to win. No, he's gonna retreat. He's not gonna risk it. Oh, he's actually going in. Grabs Jordan's buff. Oh, but he goes through the storm. Don't know what's gonna happen here. Blue Team's Phoenix has respawned. That means no more fire minions for Jordan's team. I think Justin forgot for a minute that the Phoenix was actually down and that he could have chased Jordan and killed him again. Don't really know. Justin is, of course, recalling. The red team minions are pushing. But the blue team minions are holding him off. The Phoenix is, of course, respawning for blue team. Ooh, if the red team minions can push it. No, the blue team minions are going to fight him back. But the next red team minions will push through that defense. Justin, of course, coming right back out of the store. Jordan as well coming right back out. If they clash again, we don't know the outcome. Justin, of course, already popping his elixir power. This could be very, this could be a very severe fight. A game-deciding fight. Whoever kills the other will probably win. If Justin can kill Jordan, he can win the game right now. Of course, Jordan playing defensively. Don't really know. With a three-minute delay, the fight might have already been decided. Let's see. Oh, Justin goes straight into the fight. He gets damaged by that storm. Is he going to let that affect his decision to go into a fight? Yeah, it looks like he is. He's not going to risk it. Oh, will he? Red Team's Phoenix will be respawning soon. We don't know how soon. We don't know when. Oh, it has respawned. This means they both have lost their advantage. This fight's going to go on even longer. Ooh, Justin gets hit by the... No, Justin actually doesn't get hit. Will Jordan be taken out by Justin? No. No, Justin doesn't go for the kill again. Letting all these kills slip by. This could be the thing that costs him the game. Oh, but he is pushing forward with his blue team and is going to take out that Phoenix. If he takes out that Phoenix and he goes in to kill Jordan, he could win the game. Let's see. Yes, he's going to take that out. He, Jordan no longer has his powerful... Powerful minions. Will he go for the kill for Jordan? Will Justin kill Jordan right now? Doesn't look like it. Oh, he might. He might go for the kill. Let's see. If he can get this kill, he can win. Oh, he is going to go straight for the Titan. No, it looks like Justin's going to pull back after you're attacking that Titan lightly. He knows that if Jordan fights him in Titan range, he will die. Ooh, he is going to go attack Jordan. Ooh, and Justin takes out Jordan. Will this be the thing he needs to take the game? If he can do one big push at the Titan, he can win this. Let's see, Justin's dead. Jordan's dead for a minute. Will he be able to push? Justin's going for the Titan. Titan's being attacked. It, it, that, it is at one-fifth health. Or, one-fifth health. It is at half health. It is at one-fourth health. That Titan is dead. Justin has won. Justin is the winner of the second preliminary tournament. That means the teams for this, the 2v2 tournament will be Brad and Jordan versus Medical and Justin. This will be quite the intense tournament to watch. Make sure you stay tuned to that. The preliminary games have been decided. Look at that. Justin with two kills. Jordan with none. This was quite an intense fight. Justin pulled it out of the gutters after having that physical power loss. This could have gone much worse than it did, but thank God Justin got those kills or he would have lost. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the shoutcasting, and we will see you next time at the 2v2 tournament. Goodbye.